America's Cup about to be booked. True whale or tiger, who will it be? Stoic, take it away. We're about to find out. This is a match that a lot of people have been waiting for. We've got Tiger and we've got True Whale. Two absolute animals ready to go at it. And we've got our pre bands right here. Literal animals, as one might say. A tiger might be one of the only animals to climb over that whale, but let's see it. Han Preband on True Whale's side does not want to give Tiger that Han. Knows that it was rough in last week's matches versus Shizzy. And Tiger banning away the Pontos doesn't need to pick that Song Siolo for this matchup. That's interesting that we're going to be seeing a Pontos band because he was so well prepared uh, in last match. But True Whale is going to be going with that very strong first pick, taking that Okeanos away from Tiger. We do like to see the Okeanos first pick. Every single player in this tournament has an incredibly well ruined Okeanos. Some on Swift, some on Violence, some on Crit Damage for that matter. It's one of those amazing units that we can see on so many different types of versatile builds. Well, we've got CR and Lulu being drafted for Tiger. And we've got a Gany coming out here alongside this uh, Water Ryu. Honestly, a little shocked. Uh, something I uh, wasn't quite expecting in a matchup like Tiger versus True Whale. We're seeing some pretty standard ladder drafting. We see the Okeanos into the Sierra Lulu. We see the follow up with three elements alongside that Water Ryu, but Tiger changes it up, wants the Nyx. Yep, Nyx is coming out alongside with that Connell. It's a very strong uh, pairing of these two units if they're able to make it through. True Whale hovering over a Chung Pung. Does he choose to lock this in? He's got one more unit to draft here. Be careful though, we know Tiger really likes this Nyx pick. It's very comfortable for him. He's been playing with it for quite a while now. And it looks like he's, go he's gonna be going with uh, uh, Double Brush Boys. We've got Chung Pung and we've got Joe Gun coming out for True Will. Yeah, we love to see those art masters, especially with their new transmogs. Very, very beautiful animations, very strong units. Even after Joe Gun got that nerf, still one of the most contested picks out here. Well, Tiger looking to draft after seeing both of those uh, uh, Chung Pong and Joe Gun. We've got one last pick for Tiger. What is it going to be? It could be the Hay Gang. Those have potential there, but we see the Diana instead. Lots of damage potentially coming up from this Diana. Looking towards most likely an Okeanos ban for this. Yeah, Diana being a very strong last uh, last pick here for Tiger. Bans are going to be coming out shortly. You could also see the Chung Pong ban. Chung Pong is a pretty strong ban here. No, but there it is. Okeanos going away. And same with Nyx. We're most likely seeing double speed leads. Yep, definitely going to be seeing double speed leads here. Okeanos gone, Nyx gone here. Nyx being paired so well with that Kyle True Will wants no part of it. Speed leads for both teams. We're getting into it, guys. Our first match, the match we've all been waiting for, True Will and Tiger. First turn comes up. It goes to Jogan. Jogan with a full strip. It does land, pushing that Diana forward. Diana possibly looking for some shields to help save the team just a little bit and does go for the shields. A little bit afraid here. I'd be a little worried. You got a Gany and a Chung Fung coming through. Yep. Watery with a big strip there. Does not get the strip on top of the Lulu. Lulu expected to have max resistance. Chung Fung may not care about that in a second, though. Ooh, does resist the uh, the reset here, but doesn't matter. Either way, the seal magic most likely going into the Lulu, but could also go for the Carnal if he's a little bit afraid of the speed there. Ooh, he's going to be ventilating right back to the Chung Pong. He might be gambling here and trying to seal up this Lulu. We're about to find out which unit he chooses to scroll trap, and it is going to be the Connell here. Scroll trapping the Carnal because of the elemental disadvantage, but it's still a bit of a risk. We do have Diana potential stun here. Diana looking for that stun on top of Gany. Gany has that seal of magic ready and waiting, looking for a stun on top of this Chung Pung, not receiving that stun. We have all skills up here waiting on Chung Pung. Chung Pung with a big second skill, getting defense breaks on top of everybody. Seal of magic's out here on top of Lulu, dumping the attack bars on everybody as well. Full pushback, very strong, very effective here. True Whale has defense break with the Chung Pung skill three coming in. It's gonna be a lot of damage on everyone. It's not yeah, looking very good for Tiger. The unit of focus is definitely going to be the CR here. We've got that third skill coming out here. A lot of additional damage going out on top of Diana. Everyone's looking fairly low right now. He's got the glancing effect on top of Diana. He's got now the glancing effect on top of the CR as well. Connell's got no skill. He does have some skills up, and it is his third looking to get a despair stun on anybody. He gets that stun on top of Ganny. A lot of damage comes up from Water Ryu, enough to take down the Sierra. Diana does have the potential here, but needs an extra turn before she can transform. No stuns going out on top of the uh, Chung Pung here. We've got Jogun with the third skill trying to get some attack buffs for his team here. Is Jogun going to have enough damage to possibly drop this uh, Lulu? Chung Pung into the Lulu is pretty close, but doesn't matter. The Water Ryu follows up for the kill. 
Yeah, Wataru was all ready for it. Looks like he's going to be cycling here. He's going to be shaking off that glancing and see this damage coming out from Diane. He needs as much damage as possible, dealing as much damage as possible to the Chung Pung. He's going to go and transform back, and he may drop Chung Pung here. Still pretty scared for Tiger here. Does get the extra turn on Diana, though. No longer nearly as scared as I was before. Has the damage pressure. Could go towards the Ganny, but has to be able to lock down this Water Ryu with either the Diana skill one stun or the Carnal. Otherwise, it's just going to rotate too much. Ooh, a lot of people at the edge of their seat for this Diana. If we saw another additional turn, it could have been over for True Will here. And we've got Connell trying to drop this Ganymede because we got Chung Pung dropping here as well. Needs to provoke on the Jogun. Needs to deny the Jogun from hitting that Diana with attack buff. So he chooses to go for it. Droz to drop out the Ganymede, but we've got the scroll ready. He scrolls up that Connell and he's got first skill on the Diana. Doesn't drop the Diana here, but it is going to be enough here with the Water Ryu. Water Ryu first skilling down Diana and is just a lonely Connell. Does he get the despair stuns out here with the Water Ryu not receiving it here? Goes for his attack buff. Not looking good at all for Tiger. Needs a violent proc. Gets the violent proc. Here it is. Could get the stun on the water. You does have the potential. Needs to get that stun there. Doesn't receive the stun. I think this is definitely going to be it here for the attack bar pushback. Doesn't receive it. But he just has water. Ryu ready there. And true whale is going to be taking round one away from Tiger. Yeah, Tiger really thought he could bring it back. That Diana proc was pretty big. It could have been enough to change the game, but really needed to get the value out of that Carnal skill. We had to land the stun on the water. Ryu there, but just couldn't protect it enough. Yeah, additional that, turns uh, with Diana can be absolutely devastating. Diana could have turned that match around. Yeah, 100%. Diana is a very scary unit in this situation. I think Tiger's really going to have to change up his drafting. He's really going to have to go a little more aggressive here against True Whale. Well, we've got pre-bans out here. Two speed leads are getting banned out. We've got CR banned, and we've got the Water Ryu banned. True Whale, a little bit afraid to pick that Ragdoll, though. Knows that Tiger has a Tian Lang, has that Light Panda. Very good passive to counter it. Well, Tiger, of course, going with that Okeanos. True Whale drafting the Gany. We're seeing Gany in the first round with that Lulu. And we most likely seeing the Pontos come out, but it has potential to be afraid of it. Tiger does have the big counter to it. We know we saw it before. And the Han and Nyx come out. Very strong speed lead combination into a stripper. Yeah, most definitely taking that Han away from True Will. We saw True Will drafting the Han before. True Will looking to respond after seeing both these LD Nat 5s, possibly bringing his own into this game too. Now Han Nyx pretty strong here. Does have the three turn defense break, what comes out with the Nyx, but True Will actually goes in and picks his own Tian Lang against Tiger, wants to deny the attack bar, and there's the Pontos. There's the Tian Lang. Pontos takes his two LD Nat 5s. And of course, we're going to be seeing that Water String Master coming out again for Tiger. Tiger almost looks like he expected this to come out. Saw the Tian Lang Pontos coming. Picks the Chiwu and the Sung Seol. Very effective combination. And True Whale is going to slap down the Kinky last. Kinky's a little bit scary in this draft. So many contested picks between the two of them, both of them having Tian Lang, both of them having Kinky, both of them having Han. These guys are going to be going back and forth with these units. Excellent drafts for both of these players, though. Yeah, very strong showing from True Whale. Honestly, because he's playing turn two, it looks like he's a little bit on the behind side, but when you throw down the Kinky and a Pontus together, it's pretty hard to, to really argue that that's not a scary comp in its own right. Yep, most definitely. Looks like Kinky's going to be banned out here, and so is that Okeanos. Speed leads coming out for both teams. Who's going to be taking first turn as we get into round two with True Whale and Tiger? I'm a little worried that True Whale doesn't have enough damage to deal with the Sunksyol. And there it is. The Nyx goes first. Nyx taking first turn, but doesn't land anything. Absolutely nothing coming out of that Nyx, but we've got a full team strip coming out of this Chiwu, though. Or is he going to be playing his tune to stop this Pontos from getting his buffs up? Could be playing the tune. Has to be a little bit scared, though. The Tian Lang skill, uh, skill two could be enough. Could go for the stun on first turn. Deny the opportunity there. Ooh, the unit of focus for Tiger is going to be on top of this Ganymede. Ganymede still doing all right. Big despair stun with the def defense break sitting on top of Han. Han not looking so good right now. Han about to take a lot of damage. Gany does have the seal ready. Yep, seal primed and ready to reduce the attack bars of all of Tiger's units. A lot of damage. The skill three multiplier actually hitting really, really hard. Even there, no crit, 6k damage. Crit that could have easily been 12 to 13, depending on how much attack True Whale has on his Ganymede. Yep, going in with the sweeping waves to get the silences on top of Tiger's team here. 
Ooh, a two-turn sleep comes out from the Chiu. Not sure if it's going to make too much of a difference. If Han goes down, I don't think Tiger's going to have enough damage to fight through True Whale. He does have that Pontos and the Lulu. Lots of healing coming out. Yeah, definitely has a lot of healing. You won't be able to get his buffs up there because that song is still playing. Goes for the big heal with the additional turn as well. Pummel more damage on top of the defense broken Han. Han not able to do anything here. Ooh, another turn from Pontos. More chip damage coming out. Han's going to go down on this turn. Whoa, big stuns coming out of Tiger, though. It's exactly what he needed to see with the glancing effect. Is going to be landing on top of this Ganymede. Ganymede not going to be able to do anything. Can he drop the Han? And he is able to drop the Han. Tiger lacking the damage to really get through this Lulu. Even with the cooldown reset from the Nyx, it's just not enough. Doesn't have the additional that he needs. Doesn't have the big burst nuke. Tiger reads right into that, and he concedes. Round two is going to True Whale. Yeah, Tiger had a pretty interesting draft. He knew what he what was coming, knew what he wanted, but really just couldn't get enough damage out there with the Han. We saw him set up for it, but just one of those times where it's like, hey, I want to pick something creative, and it just didn't work out the way it should have. Yeah, it definitely did it, but the pre-bans are coming out again. Han's getting banned out, even though True Will can take that unit away from him. He's going to be banning out the Han, and Tiger is going to be banning out that Pontos. True Whale, a little bit afraid of the Han, doesn't really synergize super well with any composition he runs. As you can see, he's got a lot of that AOE CC with the speed leads. Han kind of just sits there. He does, uh, although he does a lot of damage, I will be, I will be honest, he does a lot of damage. Uh, Han doesn't really does do a lot of fit damage. the comp super well. Yeah, not at all. It did not work out for Tiger, but Tiger looking to possibly draft some new units, something fresher, going into a round three with True Whale. True with that first pick, taking that Okeanos away from Tiger. I guess to be careful as well. I think True Whale, uh, from what from what we've seen in the tournament so far, it looks like he runs high resist on a lot of his support units. Have the opportunity to play very defensively. Han missing all four defense breaks, so it goes to show. Yeah, most definitely. Ciara Connell coming out for Tiger. We've got Gany and Water Ryu out here for True Whale. Yeah, with artifacts uh, being released and having skill three accuracy, skill two accuracy and such, it's actually a lot more feasible to get high resistance on your units alongside the fact that, you know, these are the best players in the world with the best runes in the world. Yeah, most definitely. Interesting to see the Tian Lang coming out here with the Ciara, who's supposed to be gaining attack bar from her first skill. Looks like Tian, uh, Tian Lang's going to be gaining that attack bar. No attack bar gain on the side of True Whale, though. Yeah, a little bit risky, though. True Whale does have that Okeanos skill three. Every stun's 25%, and it also does deny the more passive, drops it from 100 to 50. And Tiger dropping in the kinky last here. Doesn't want True Whale to have it. Yeah, no, dropping in the kinky hard as well. There's a lot of damage coming out of Tiger here. I can't help but favor Tiger just a little bit with the amount of damage, but there is the control on the side of True Will with the sustain as well. Is that going to be enough, or can Tiger muscle his way and take round three away from True Will? Tianlang going to be very effective. Could oh. steal turn one away after that water Ryu moves. Yep, most definitely speed leads for both teams. Here we go, guys. We've got round three between True Will and Tiger. There it is, that really fast Nyx going again, does move in front of everybody. And Nyx looking for the full team strip and does not get a full team strip once again, but we've got skill two coming out for Water Ryu doing absolutely nothing. Ooh, Tian Lang with the single despair stun and then stun afterwards, the first hit uh, on the sequence being the despair stun that we get to see. Kind of looking to take advantage of True Whale's units now that no will is up here. No provokes landing on top of this Okeanos. Bomb's coming out for Ciara. Yeah, Ciara could skill one for attack bar game, but she will only get half, only that 22.5%, but it still could push him ahead of the enemy team, could go for the risk, doesn't quite need to blow it up yet. And he does go for a little bit of attack bar gain. He does get the additional turn. He's going to bomb up next turn here. Glancing possibly going to be applied from this Nyx here onto the Chungpong, and it does land. Water Ryu looking for a despair stun on top of Ciara, not receiving it here. Oh, but that Nyx landing the one turn reset on Chung Pong is enough to save Tiger. Does give him the extra turn, a despair stun, but the bomb is resisted on True Whale's side, so we get the Okeanos skill three coming out. Yeah, no stun landing on top of that Okeanos. Rain of Stones come out, stuns everybody. Ciara has that bomb primed and ready. Okeanos looking not healthy at all. Ciara missing the bomb. Really needed the value on that. True Whale does have a chance to come back here. Does have the skill three on his Chung Pong available. Definitely needed to land that bomb on top of Chung Pong, not receiving it. They were going to see a skill three possibly come out with the Chung Pong with glancing here. Does get some attack bar reduction as well. He needs to steal the carnal, needs to push back the attack bar. Can't take any risks now. 
Yeah, big seal on top of that, Khan. Alciara looking very, very low right now. Goes for a big skill too, not receiving any despair stuns. Does he choose to drop the CR with the skill too? Probably should take out the CR. The chip damage is just so strong. True Whale does have the potential to win this match out, but Tiger is still showing a pretty strong force. Has that Tian Lang, has that Carnal. Yeah, definitely not over for Tiger at all. I mean, we've got the Despair Suns, and we have, there's the Despair Suns, and he just drops the Okeanos just like that. So we're probably going to see the Ventilate into the Chung Pung, but it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk here. Instead, goes for the Water Ryu, wants the additional damage on skill two. Yeah, definitely goes for the Water Ryu, but he lands the Provoke, and he's not able to capitalize with that skill two. Glancing does not apply. Can Tiger drop Water Ryu and does drop the Water Ryu? Oh, that entire Ventilate denied. Denied by an off-element Provoke. Huge play for Tiger, took the risk and got rewarded. Yeah, definitely a huge play indeed. Glancing sitting on top of this Connell. Connell still able to land the Glancing. Chung Pung not dropping the Connell here. Big stuns coming out of the Tian Lang. Glancing be applied to the Ganymede. I think it's gonna be over here. Connell looking to finish off this Ganymede. And we've got Tian Lang ready to drop this unit. This is gonna be it. And we have Tiger taking round three away from True Whale. So many despair stuns coming out from this Tian Lang. Tian Lang having so much impact in that match, even without gaining a ton of attack bar from the other units from the Water Ryu passive, the Water Ryu skill two, and the Okeano skill three, managed to have so much pressure. You know, that first hit in the sequence we recognize as a despair stun, the third hit being the actual stun on the skill, he managed to get both almost every single time. Yeah, he really did. That was a very strong unit for him. You know, it's even taking it where he did, he was just taking it away from Truel at that point and he capitalized on it. Got a lot of great despair stuns coming out of it, but maybe there's gonna be a change of pace as we go into a round four between True Whale and Tiger. Pre-bands are out, we've got Nyx, we've got Water Ryu pre-band and Tiger with the first pick. But lead towards the Sierra, but wants the Okeanos again, denies it. It's the most contested first pick between all these contestants. Yeah, it goes for that Okeanos, and we have Lulu and Ganymede once again being first picked by True Will. True Will leaning towards that Pontos pickup again. Not quite sure if Tiger wants to pick the Song Siola or set up differently for it. Looks like Tiger's going to be leaning for that Chung Pong and one other unit. We may see him go ahead and take that Tian Lang once again, just so True Will doesn't take it again. But he's going to be going with his own speed lead, bringing out a Ciara. I like the opportunity here for uh, Tiger to actually show a Juno in the second last round. Very strong into this. True Will hovering over speed lead himself in the form of this Chiwu taking that away. We may see the Pontos come out and then we might see uh, Tiger respond to that. The Chiwu definitely leans into a really strong carnal pick. Last pick Pontos is very effective. Um, it's not a ton of damage, but it's enough sustain with control with the Ganymede, Pontos, and the Lulu to actually win out through what Tiger has. However, if he does take the Juno, it's going to be really, really good into everything that True Whale has here. Yeah, definitely. Would be a fantastic pick coming from Tiger. A lot of damage, I would say, on the side of Tiger's team right now. Just some control on the side of True Whale. Not a lot of firepower. That sounds a little crazy, but I actually wouldn't mind. Stand <laughs> there it is. I wouldn't mind seeing a Chow, and there it is. We see Chow yet again alongside the Han. Yep, there's that Chow and that Han. Tian Lang is going to be coming out for True Will here. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough to hold back Tiger from possibly getting his second victory over True Will? Chi Wu, I'm sorry, Chi Wu. Uh, a Chow looking very, very strong right now, though. Mm -hmm. The speed lead opportunity here for Tiger is very good, though. If the Tian Lang does come through, potentially banning up the Chi Wu to deny first turn instead. So he does lock Good. in that Tian Lang. I think a True Whale side. I think we're still seeing the Chow ban. We might see the we might see the Chung Pung ban instead, but I think the Chow is still a very strong ban here. I think the Chow is a very strong ban as well. Being one of his big time damage dealers is that Fire Bison choosing to ban out Chung Pung instead. Is this the first match we see a Chow? This is the first match we finally get to see a Chow. Guys, we're going into a game four with True Will and Tiger. Is Chow going to be the unit, the successor? Are we going to see this big match come out for Tiger? We're about to find out. Okeanos, ready to go. Spear of Devastation does land the reset, denies the seal magic on Ganymede. Definitely denies that third scale. Glancy does apply to the Chow. We've got Han looking to pummel in some damage here, going right after the Ganymede. Ganymede with the defense break, not looking good, very low. Tian Lang, of course, cutting in, going in for a big second scale, receiving huge value with the stun onto Okeanos and the Han. 
That double stun, extra massive. Chow will get a turn here, but won't be able to get into any defense broken targets. Does cleanse himself now with that recent buff. Justice comes up only 11k on the Lulu though. Not a lot of plus water damage there. Yeah, not a lot of plus water damage at all on those artifacts. Lulu could be that tanky as well. Who knows? We're going to see a big third skill coming out of this Kano, looking to possibly deal some serious damage to the Han and Okeanos. Debating if saving it wants to possibly put the slow debuff there up on the Sierra. Sierra will get the turn. Lands the bomb. Here it comes. Does he rotate? Does he go for the skill on risk? Oh, he goes for that bomb and no stun's going to be happening on top of this Lulu. He does have that ventilate here with Ganymede. They put it into Tian Lang. Potential for a second set of stuns, but goes for the glancing, hits it on the Han. Han did not violent proc, so no chance to stun or kill that Lulu. Does get very important glancing on top of Ciara and that Han as well. We've got the defense break possible to spare stuns going out on top of Molong, not receiving a big skill three, trying to heal up his team as much as possible. Chow looking to pummel the damage on top of Lulu. Needs a, needs a lot of value out of this Chow. Chow could win up the match, but needs to kill the Lulu and then go immediately for that Tian Lang. That defense break is very scary. Here comes the Seal Magic. Seal Magic could be ending the game here. This could be it. True Whale taking it over Tiger. Ooh, there's that Seal of Magic with the additional turn. Everybody hates to see that initial turn coming out of Ganymede. It is so oppressive. And then Ventilate going back into the Fire and Bison. Fire and Bison will be able to reapply the slow, the additional damage and the stun potential. Ooh, there's that big damage going on to Ciara. Looking to reapply that glancing on top of Ciara as well. Does get the glancing reapplied. Chow trying to pummel in some massive damage. Can Tiger come back with this one unit alone? Do we see a 10k Chow? Is this a return to Mobile Masters? Do we see the Chow solo in the one before? Or will it fall short here to True Whale? We're about to find out. Bison shutting down two units. Ciara and Han are going to be dropping here. Okiano's probably going to be dropping here as well. Tiger can already see a True Whale is going to be moving forward. It was procedural, it was oppressive, but True Whale gets it done here, and another former champion gets knocked out. This almost feels like it's a passing of the torch. We had three players today in today's elimination matches that had the opportunity to move on, that had won a championship previously. All three of them failed to move on, which means in the America's Cup, we only got one guy. It's Thompson from 2019, the America's Cup champion, the only returning champion in the tournament that we dubbed, y'all. We dubbed it the Tournament of Champions. We were like, we got all these guys that have had the experience, but it's the new kids on the block, or I guess the new uh, uh, players that are trying to also etch their name into the America's Cup. Not all the players are new. And True Whale, rightfully so, living up to his name, living up to his rank, and punches his ticket to the America's Cup. Once in love, it was done comprehensively.